For this project, Eugene's going to need wood, lots of it. And he knows where there's some choice pickings. Hey, David, how you doing? Pretty good. I've got myself into a problem with this guy, man. I've, I've tentatively promised to build him a hunting blind, right? I, I kind of need a stack of lumber. I can't really afford to pay for it, you know, but I was thinking him and I are going to go hunting up there, and, you know, if we shoot a deer, we'll give you a couple hands or something off of it. If David doesn't want to trade wood for venison, Eugene is never going to be able to build this hunting blind. That'd be a pretty good trade. I've got some other logs over here we can go take a look at. And... Yeah, let's go look at them. Yeah, boy, look at these things. Yeah. We'll use some of the stuff out of them. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, just, yeah. We're building a tree house, basically. It's got to be safe. Just by smelling on that wood, I can tell how long it's been down, how long it's been cured. Mmm, it smells good. This wood that David's got is real prime stuff. It's real sharp. It's in good condition. It's going to really save Eugene's butt. So I guess we need like 38 foot two by fours and maybe some of them slab boards in your truck over there. And we'll make it worth your while. I believe we can work a trade out on it. All right. A 12 foot tall, three and a half foot wide log will yield about 45 two by fours. Talk about a workhorse. All right, we need to get this old bark kind of chopped off, get this dirt off of it. To expose the sturdy timber underneath, the bark's got to come off the outer layer. Y'all are getting it done. There, that should be good. I guess we get better start mailing it up. Heck yeah. Turning a tree into perfect two by four is a process that used to take a group of men as long as a week to complete. But with the help of a small bulldozer, and a portable electric sawmill. David does the work of 10 men in no time. I was wondering how you were going to do that. You must have dull, that little blade. Yeah. And David gave me some really, really good wood. I was surprised at you know, how nice it was. I was expecting to get you know, something a little pithy, some punky old wood he had laying around, but he cut us up a fresh log. I hope you have good luck with it. 